Ages, what an appropriate name. This is advanced glycation end products. Ages are these crosslinks that occur on proteins, and the reason they occur? Too much glucose, too much sugar. It binds to proteins, causes proteins to fold abnormally, and then it kind of locks them together, um, and it creates these, these crosslink bridges that destroy tissue uh, integrity and structure. And then as these dermal cells die, they secrete collagenase, which digests skin cells, or the collagen, and your skin gets thin. So these are uh, a big area of research. We're figuring out ways to actually break these up so you reverse all the wrinkles and everything that we get. Junk inside the cells, lipofusion. Uh, this is the debris, this is the garbage from all the cellular metabolism that builds up over time that you can't get rid of fast enough. And it's just like they're dumping garbage in the cell and eventually it stops working the way it's supposed to. Um, they've actually figured this out. I, I can tell you within about five to seven years, uh, heart disease will probably not be an issue for us. Uh, they've found an enzyme out of dirt that uh, digests seven keto cholesterol. They've used the enzyme to insert it transgenically, I know GMOs, uh, but transgenically into mice, and they're able to actually digest the plaques. Um, downside of that is people will think they have free reign on eating whatever they want because now they can get this transgenic gene and they can build up plaques, but it won't happen because they'll digest it. Uh, macular degeneration, age spots. Age spots is a nice way to assess how much lipofusion buildup you have. That's what creates these. And the best way to tell, back of the hand and the decollete uh, will give you a good idea of how much aging your body is actually going through. Junk outside the cell, uh, amyloid. So we're talking Alzheimer's. They're actually vaccinating the immune system to attack the beta amyloid. And uh, they're... They've gone through some studies. One of the problems was they actually got into human studies with this and they had brain swelling with it. So uh, they had to abandon the studies. But at least that was a step and they're looking at it and trying to figure out how they can progress that now. So this stuff is not science fiction. This is real. This is happening. Uh, SENS Institute is a nonprofit, So they want to make these anti-aging therapies or re age reversal therapies available for everybody, not for the rich uh, which is ideal. So they're looking at prolonging youthful longevity.